this is the news that I've been wanting to share with you guys for so long. It's honestly a dream come true and a goal that I didn't imagine that I would reach for another like five years or even ten years. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I am here with my tropical juice and in my very colourful jumper. I'm going to bring the sun to the video because it's such a gloomy day. I've actually had to turn my little desk light on to bring some sort of warmth to the video because otherwise it would be really, really dark and gloomy. I was thinking about <laughs> having a coffee, but I decided against it and was like, no, I'm going to have a cold, fresh, fizzy drink. <laughs> slightly regretting that decision because my hands are freezing from literally holding that for two seconds but i'm ready for spring i don't know about you guys i'm so so ready for spring this video is going to be my 2023 goals video you might be wondering why i'm making a goals video about a quarter of the way through the year and that's because there are some things that i've been wanting to share and talk about with you guys in this video but until now I haven't been able to share or talk about these things all become clear in the video and I'll explain things in the video but that's why there's been a delay in me making a goals video I'm gonna start the video by reflecting on my goals for last year 2022 and then I'm gonna move on to talking about my goals for 2023 um, so grab yourself a drink whether it be a more summery, springy kind of drink, or whether it be a hot chocolate or something cosy, that is that is your choice. Without further ado, let's crack on to talking about my goals from last year and whether I reached them or not. So my first goal for last year was to make more art. And I have to say that I definitely did make more art. I definitely achieved this goal, but I don't think I made as much work as I was originally hoping I would. But I feel like a lot of the work that I made last year was really experimental and really great for my growth as an artist. I made a lot of work on a larger scale to that that I would usually. Um, and I also did work for um, the commercial setting. So I feel like I was really kind of working a lot of different styles and mediums last year and really did push myself um, in making more art. By the way, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notebook because I I have a very bad memory. So I'm looking at my notebook, that's why I'm looking down. Um, my second goal was to get inspiration using different sources. And what I meant by that was using sources other than uh, Pinterest and Instagram which had been my main sources of inspiration previously to last year. I definitely achieved this goal. I have built up a lovely collection of art books and reference books last year. I had to rein myself in because it was becoming a little bit of an addiction buying new books so I've had to press pause on buying new books for a while um, but I do treat myself every now and then to an inspiring book usually secondhand so it's not really that expensive but I, it was getting a bit out of hand. I also went to a few different museums and galleries last year. Not as many as I think that I hoped to, but I definitely did go to some. I would like to continue to push that further this year and go to more galleries and be more mindful and thoughtful about where I'm consuming art and what type of art that I am consuming and just being more open-minded, I think, to different art forms basically. So my third goal for last year was not to stress as much about Instagram and social media and the algorithm and all of that kind of thing. I 100% achieved this goal, maybe a little bit too far. In a nutshell, I have taken a huge step back from Instagram. I've been posting on YouTube still semi-regularly, like once or twice a month. But yeah, Instagram, I basically took a huge step back from and have barely posted 
on there at all. I'm quite active on stories still, but I haven't posted on my grid in a really long time. I have just found that it's been so nice to have a break from it. I found that there are other ways of getting work other than Instagram and social media. Um, now they are amazing, amazing resources, don't get me wrong, but I have found that taking a step back and allowing myself to have a breather from social media has been so good for my mental health, my business, my finances. So yeah, really, really glad that I achieved this goal. My fourth goal for last year was to do more commercial and client work. And I definitely did more of that. I'd say I could have done more, but yeah, I feel like I was slowly kind of easing myself into more commercial work in 2022. So my fifth goal for last year was to get an illustration agent. And this was something that I really wasn't sure that I was going to achieve because it seemed like such a big goal and something that I just, I don't know, I just didn't think that I was good enough to get an agent and that my work wasn't quite there yet. Um, but I'm really, really excited to say and share that from today. I am officially signed and represented by Jennifer Nelson at Jennifer Nelson Artists, which is just honestly a dream come true. I have followed those guys for quite a while, followed their artists for quite a while. For anyone that doesn't know, they are an illustration and art agency based in the US. They only have a really, really small handful of artists. So I just feel so honored to be able to work with Jennifer and, and Hayley and Kathy and Christy. I'm so, so, so grateful to be working with these lovely people and to have been given this opportunity for my career. It's honestly a dream come true and a goal that I didn't imagine that I would reach for another like five years or even 10 years. So I'm just so excited to be here and in this position and can't wait to see where this takes me this year in 2023. So yeah, I'm so excited to share. This is the news that I've been wanting to share with you guys for so long, um, but haven't been able to until now because we've been wanting to keep things under the radar until my like official launch day, which is today. Hence why I can finally share this news with you guys and share this video, um, because I really wanted to include this in my goals video because it feels like such a big achievement for me. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys because you have been such an amazing support to me so far in my career. So. Yeah, my camera battery just died, so I apologise if the camera angle has moved slightly. So my sixth goal for last year was to host more workshops. Now, I technically did host a, a workshop last year, but I definitely didn't host more workshops than 2021. Like, I did a workshop at Anthropology in May, last year but i wanted to do like more regular workshops kind of every other month or every two months or so and yeah that definitely didn't happen so i technically did do a workshop last year but i didn't do more workshops so i didn't achieve that goal doing more workshops is something that i would like to do this year but we'll see yeah, it's something that I'd just like to be doing more of. Um, so hopefully I can do that more in the future. So my seventh and final goal for 2022 was to keep growing a lovely creative online community. And that is something that I definitely did achieve. I feel like my numbers haven't really changed drastically. I think I had like 6,000 and something followers on Instagram when I filmed my goals video last year and I now have 8,000. So I don't feel like I have grown numbers wise massively, um, but I have definitely made a lot more friends this past year through Instagram and through the creative community. Yeah, I definitely feel like I have achieved that goal which is really lovely and I definitely hope to be able to continue growing this community here online and um, yeah I'd love to see my YouTube channel grow more actually I'd love that to happen and to be able to yeah just spread spread my love of art further so that was my like reflections on my goals from 2022 so now let's talk about my goals for this year 2023 <laughs> So my first 
first goal for 2023 is to have a good work-life balance. I have found that being self-employed, it's really, really challenging to set boundaries with work. I have found that even over the past month or so, I have been really slipping back into some quite bad habits, checking my emails at like 9 p.m., um, being on my phone first thing in the morning, um, which is just not something that I need to be doing. I don't have to check my work emails all through the day, you know, in my downtime at the weekends. I just don't have to be doing that. And I just need to be careful with saving space for being with loved ones um, and just making sure that that is a priority in my life because I think that being around loved ones and spending time with those that you care about should be one of the one of life's biggest priorities um at least that is how i feel about it so yeah i just want to have that reflected in my work life um and the boundaries that i set in place with that kind of thing so yeah that's my first goal so my second goal for this year is to make more art but continuing to experiment with my art and um, a particular area that I'd really like to experiment with is to bring in like loose narratives and themes within my work. There's a lot of things <laughs> in life that I really care about and that I'm really passionate about and I feel as though up to this point my work has either been very commercial, just created for the pure purpose of selling and making money, or it's been very kind of aesthetic focus, which is fine. Like I really like making work just to be beautiful and just to make stuff that's aesthetically pleasing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. But I have found that I've been more drawn to work with themes and ideas. My camera just died again. Yeah, I was just saying that I have a lot of things in my life that I really care about, a lot of topics and issues that I really care about and feel passionate about and I would love to be able to use my work as a means to communicate those ideas and thoughts. So hopefully you can expect some more narrative artwork from me. I'm not really sure how that's going to look but I'm excited about it. My third goal for this year is to have my work in an art gallery, whether that be for like a solo show or collaborative show or something. I would really, really love that. I have had my work in galleries before, but not in recent years. So I would really like to achieve that for my art and small business. My fourth goal for 2023 is actually a goal that I set for myself in 2021 um, and that is to get editorial or like publishing work and I feel like now I have an agent hopefully that's going to be a bit easier for me and more accessible. Often publishers won't want to work with illustrators unless they are represented so I'm really hopeful that that means that I'll be able to do some publishing or editorial work this year. My fifth goal is to host more workshops and I know this was a goal from last year and I didn't achieve it but I'd really love to be able to do more workshops kind of not regularly but semi-regularly. I would just really enjoy that and I really enjoy teaching and I think it's a nice way of cultivating a community and client base locally to be able to spread the word about your art and kind of get your name out there a little bit locally I think is really great if you're a small business owner so yeah and I just really love working with people I think being self-employed and working from home could be really lonely sometimes so I think doing workshops is a really nice way of kind of getting yourself out there and being able to be around people which is great. My sixth goal for 2023 is to sketchbook more regularly. I am so so bad at sketchbooking regularly and I'd love to have a more kind of consistent practice where I work in my sketchbook more. I'd love to be able to finish a sketchbook this year and actually have a sketchbook that's like half finished so to finish that one as well would be great so please keep me accountable for that and my seventh and final goal is to do more plein air painting and drawing this is something that I've been wanting to do for ages now and I just need to get out there and sketch in real life because I live in such a beautiful part of the UK it feels like such a waste to have such beautiful landscape around me and not to be making use of it in my work so Definitely want to do more of that this year. Oh, my foot's gone to sleep. Ow. Oh my gosh. I can't feel my foot. 
So I think that that's a good place to end this video. Those are my goals for 2023. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and hearing what I would like to achieve for my art and small business this year. I hope it's inspired you as well. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me and my work and for enabling me to continue making these YouTube videos. It really, really means a lot. Like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.